It's an interesting one, this, isn't it? Because you can't you can't underestimate just how great a manager Jurgen Klopp is. We know that he's probably one of the best managers in world football at the moment, and he's won the League Cup and he's won the FA Cup. Mm. But he did. We just heard from Jamie Hart. He has faced you know his ambition, his goal at the beginning of the season. His priority is to win the Premier League. He failed at that. Now, for whatever reason, Man City are unbelievable. They've missed out by a point. I get all that. Yeah, unlucky. Yeah, yeah, I get all that. But he didn't do it. And, mm. and Pep Guardiola did. So I, I do find it bizarre. In case people are wondering how it's voted for, votes are from the public and they're combined with those of a panel of football experts. And all add that all together, they come up with a five-man shortlist. The, f- the five-man shortlist was um, Guardiola, Howe, Klopp, Vieira and Frank, Thomas Frank. Okay, before we talk, get your view... On, why are you laughing? No, no reason. Before we get your view on whether or not you think Jurgen Klopp should have been named, just go over the other ones. Thomas Frank, Guardiola... Howe and Vieira. So, Thomas Frank? Fantastic season. Absolutely incredible. uh, Brentford's first time back in, well, first time ever in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Didn't shirk away from it from the very get-go. You'd have to say, I know it's painful to say, but from the very get-go, beating Arsenal, kind of introducing themselves, really good run, introducing Christian Eriksen part of the way through. And for them to finish, what, 13th in their first season, I think he's done a phenomenal job. I really do. Obviously, we'll, we'll get to Pep in a minute, but Eddie Howe again, great what he did at Newcastle. I mean, at, when you look when they finished eleventh, that's incredible. I mean, at one stage they could have finished inside the top ten, but when he took over, they had I think three or four points. Yeah, they were. They were I thought they were gone. But yeah, me he, too. He's done a wonderful job. Yes. And then Patrick Vieira again. Patrick Vieira, Crystal Palace finished twelfth, but I think he's had a lot to deal with. Had to change the way that Crystal Palace played. Had to get some new young blood in there. Obviously, the philosophy of the football club was kind of ingrained after what Roy Hodgson had left there. Which, listen, you can't laugh, you can't mm. laugh at or smirk at it because it's one of them where it might have not been the most nicest football to watch, but it was effective when mm. he was there. But mm. I think Crystal Palace fans would say they've got tired of watching it. Just staying in the Premier League for that club isn't enough. And Vieira has made them believe by bringing an exciting youngster, some of the signings. They've had a couple of England call ups as well, so that tells you how far that football club in Crystal Palace have come with the development. But when you look at the top two in, in Klopp and, and Pep, I would go. For, I would go with Pep. Pep's won the Premier League, thirty-eight points. I get it. As it stands right now, you mean thirty-eight games? Thirty-eight games. As it stands right now, Klopp's only won the league and the the two league the two domestic trophies, FA Cup and League Cup. Pep's won the big one already. The the, the thirty-eight game Premier League season. So for him to not even be to win I that, find it I, mad. I can't understand how. No, look, I asked you the question at the beginning of the show. I'll ask it again. What does Jurgen? So, what does Pep Guardiola need to do to win the crown? Well, he's done it. He won, he won the yeah, Premier what, League in the, the eyes of people that voted. I don't get it. I don't know. Be more pleasing to some of the people that he speaks to. Maybe his persona. I don't think it's about that personality. You say, you, is yeah, it? But you say that right. But you know as well as I do. In certain walks of life in, in industry, you get a lot further with people if you're courteous to people. You you speak to them in the right way. When I look at the two guys speaking, I look at Jurgen Klopp. Friendly, happy, smiley, lots of smiley. Yeah. looks like someone. Oh, what a good guy! Yeah, Pep always a little bit rattled. It was a little bit, do you know what I mean, a little bit feisty. Maybe that's coming to people's thinking. But I'm with, I'm with Pep. I thought we should have won it. They've won the Premier League. Okay, uh, I agree with you. Let's take some calls, shall we? Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Dan is a Liverpool fan. Hello, Dan. You alright, guys? We're good. How are you? I'm not so bad, thanks. So I'm um, guessing you're going to go that the right decision was made with Jurgen Klopp being the manager of the year. One hundred percent. Okay, I'll ask you this question then. For Pep Guardiola to win that accolade, what should he have done more? For Pep Guardiola to win that accolade, he needs to go to a club that doesn't have a billion pounds to spend in the season. Yeah, I, get, I, I, I understand that they spend a lot of money, but he's still he's still producing the goods. Because you look, Chelsea at once, they spent a lot of money and they're not as dominant, I would say, as Manchester City are right now. So, and, and, and a lot of people say about Klopp, I know he's not spent as nowhere near as much as City, I get that, but he has spent money. But also, surely it's not about net spend, otherwise you'd stick Brentford in there, wouldn't you? I think I, th- I, th- I think my two-year-old daughter could win the, win the Premier League month with the squad that they've got. Yeah, but who got that squad? I mean, I could say the same thing about Liverpool. Yeah, but you, you, you look at this season, Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool were 14 points behind Man City. Oh. Yeah, they didn't, didn't win the league, but they were 14 points behind. But, but did, did Jurgen Klopp fail this season in the Premier League? No. His, his aim was to finish second at the beginning, was it? Well, obviously not, no, but, you know, you, you, you look at the table in January, look for 14 points behind. Yeah, but it's not. It's the whole season it's voted on, Dan. Yeah, I know it is, but... So, Dan, would you say that Jurgen Klopp then, in Premier League terms, has had a better season 
than Pep Guardiola? Um, no, because you know Man, Man City won the league, so. But. Uh, do you know what? I, 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 I get with Jurgen Klopp. I do like Jurgen Klopp, and I think he's a fantastic manager. But even if you look maybe a little bit further down the pyramid, look at the job that Steve Cooper's done, by the way. Surely he must have been in, yeah. the, in the reckoning for LMA manager of the year. They were rock bottom when he took over. Danny? I think I, th- I think I think the top three for me was Jurgen Klopp, Eddie Howe and David Moyes. So bitter. So bitter. <laughs> Aren't you? You know Jurgen Klopp spent less than Arsenal and Chelsea this season. Did uh, Pep, it? Sorry, Pep did. Sorry, Pep. Spent less than Arsenal and Chelsea. Well, it's, you know, I mean, he spent under a million on, J- on Jack Grealish. Yeah. Still less than the two sides I mentioned. Yeah, well, like I said, with, with with the money that he has available to him, I know he has he, he might not have spent that much this season, but you know, over, over the last over the last five years, how much has Man City spent? Do you, do you, do you know though, if, you, if you're talking about this season, like it's about this season, mm. right? And you talk about Pep, the money he spent, but then Eddie Howe's in the same discussion because they spent over a hundred million yeah. in January. Yeah. And also, Danny, let me ask you, if you're talking about money spent by your manager over the last few years, okay? Yeah. So your centre-half and your goalkeeper cost you about £150 million, right? Yeah. And Jack Grealish and, I don't know, Carl Walker cost the same amount of money. So so I don't get what the difference is between managers but, spending copious amounts of money. But how, how much did Liverpool sell for Tariq Coutinho off by? How much was it? 140, wasn't it? About 140, was it 130? Right, so so we got we got to go. Well, you're not so. Danny. You're not the accountant, are you? What do you care? No, no but it it, it it all matters. We got we got we got a world class goalkeeper and the best defender in in, in the world. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. But, but, but uh, do you know, Danny, that's the thing though, and about this season is that you're right. You've got an unbelievable goalkeeper, world class at half, and they still finish behind Pep. Mm. Uh, let's quickly go to Ron, a Chelsea fan, or Smudge, as we know him. Smudge. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think you'd be talking about Chelsea as title contenders next season. Um, look look where we are this season. I mean, we could have won the Carabao Cup, FA Cup. We could have knocked Real Madrid out. We're going to get some more money. I mean, you know, we're going to be talking about title contenders for Chelsea next year. So you've thrown me there. I thought we were talk- you were talking about Chelsea nah, in the first know, part Do, you know, do you know what, though, Ron, right? I think... I thought you were going to say that your manager should be manager of the year, Ron. Yeah, yeah. Do you know though? He has no when, when you talk about a fine team, line, though, a fine line about manager of the season, if the, they win the penalty shootout, that's two cups and the Club World mm. Cup, they'd be talking about him and he finished third behind them two, then he's in the discussion for uh, manager uh, of the season. Let me ask you then, Ron, OK? Yeah. Because the money... This is what we are talking about in the first hour. We didn't have time for Chelsea fans. Um... The money supposedly your manager's got is two hundred million pounds. With that much money to spend, if that's the case, he's got to win something big, right? The FA Cup and the League Cup aren't enough for that kind of spend for a club like Chelsea. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, I think I think he does have to. He have to win the Champions League or, or the title mm. for that sort of money. I'm, I'm just wondering. My biggest uh, problem at the moment is. Uh, is he a too? Uh, is too cool? A, a, does he like Lukaku or does he not? I mean, where does he fit in? Does what would you? Do, what would you? Because of his amount of money you paid for him. What would you do with him, Smudge? I'd look at him in pre-season, see what he's like pre-season. If he's scoring goals in pre-season, yeah, I'd keep him. Okay. If he's if he's having a poor pre-season, I'd try and get some money for him. All yeah. Right. All right. Thanks for your call. Always a pleasure. It always makes me. I always find it quite interesting when people say we'll try and get some money for him, because if you put Lukaku on the market for fifty million. You have a lot of takers. Okay. Well, what's the most you can get for him? Ooh, I don't. You're not getting what you paid for him. No, of course not. But 50 million, you have loads. 65? Yeah, I think someone will pay 65. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I, I, if I'm Lukaku, I'm staying where he's at, though. Yeah, that's because you like the money. Uh, keep your calls coming in 03717 22344. 